Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing the perfect palette tag video. When I saw this going around on YouTube, I was super excited because I love eyeshadow palettes. I recently just got four eyeshadow palettes and I did not need them, but I'm just like addicted to eyeshadow palettes that I just needed to have them. <laughs> it's just, it's awful. Um, but yeah, I just thought this would be like the perfect tag video for me to do and I'll just get started. So the first question says, which of your palettes has the best packaging? And for me, this would have to be the Urban Decay Vice 2 palette. Um, it's just, I think it's a gorgeous palette. Um, it has kind of like this um, raised crystal, like rhinestone UD logo with the Vice 2 written underneath it. And then just like this kind of this pattern that they have with the purples and like the burgundies and kind of like maroony shades, just the way that they kind of have it all together. It's just, it makes this palette look super gorgeous. And the most unique part about this palette is the way that it opens. It's just really pretty and then it has this awesome mirror inside and the 20 gorgeous shades so for me just this packaging with super sturdy too like this plastic and it definitely doesn't like the fingerprints and stuff if you have you know get shadow on you or something or you're like swatching and you it doesn't pick up the shadow and it doesn't stay on there like if like the NARS type of rubber packaging so I feel like this packaging is really nice and it, they just did a really great job on just kind of like the whole design and it's really cute the second question says the best color payoff. Um, I, for me, it's the Urban Decay Smoked Palette. I got this for Christmas last year, um, and I haven't really used it much, but it is one of like, the palettes that I have that definitely is the most buttery and smooth texture-wise, and they just apply the way that they kind of like swatch. So like if you even look at like Mushroom and Back Door, Look at, look at the dark brown, it's, it has oh, just tremendous pigmentation and they're just so smooth and buttery like when you swatch them. And even when you put them on your eyelid, like the fall, you don't really get any fallout because they're just so like well kind of like put together and the pigment's just super nice and so creamy and buttery and definitely one of the best um, color payoff palettes that I have. The third question says the most versatile for me. This is the Tarte Gorgeous Getaways palette. And I recently did like a tutorial and review with this palette. And I would consider this a palette, right? <laughs> um, the more reason why it's the most versatile, if I can open it, is that it has 16 eyeshadows and four blushes. And then underneath the pullout drawer, you get three lip glosses. So you can definitely easily do like an all matte look using these color. There we go. Using these colors up here. Um, an all shimmer look, you can go to like a smoky eye look, and even with the blush you can go from like a nude blush to like a hot pink, and then like a hot pink with shimmer, and then you can pull out the drawer underneath it, and then you have like a coral shimmer gloss, a lilac color, and then like a mauve color, and then like you can put them, the quads, take them out and then put them in this gold little like bow traveling thing and it's definitely super versatile you can have like practically like your whole face you got your lips your cheeks and your eyes so definitely for me this is the most versatile palette number four says the best for traveling and this is the palette that I just got on Friday <laughs> um, this is the Too Faced Natural Eye palette and I was kind of like a toss-up between this one and the Naked Basics palette but when looking at the Naked Basics palette it just for me didn't have like enough variety if I were to take it traveling Whereas this one does, and for me, like, I need, I love kind of having this, like, champagne shimmery color that I can put all over the lid. And this one definitely has it in much more. This one has Silk Teddy, which is that color that I just absolutely love and need in the palette. It has Push Up, <clears throat> sorry, a super bronzy shade. Um, it also has a matte highlighting shade, which I need to have a matte highlighting shade. Like, I absolutely love matte highlights, which is called Heaven. And then a matte like kind of taupey brown and then a deep brown and just so much variety like I would never get tired like you can definitely go to a smoky eye and a bronzed eye and like you know gold and everything with this palette it's definitely very sturdy cardboard super small and compact definitely something that I could take traveling with me the fifth question says your biggest regret um, and for me this was it's just something that didn't work out personally for me. It might be like some of your favorites, so I'm so you know I'm sorry, but this is just something that per for me personally, I regret buying, and I just wish I didn't fall into the hype of it. But this is the Urban Decay Naked Two palette, and here's my reason why it's like my biggest regret. Um, swatching them, they're gorgeous. Like Verve and uh, YDK, like look at the swatches for these. 
Here's Verve, and then here's YDK. Super great pigmentation, and I saw it in the store too, and like I swatched them, and I was like, oh my god, these colors are gorgeous, like they have awesome pigmentation, I can't wait to use them. But the problem comes when you like put them on your eyelid using a brush. So like Verve right here, I put it on my eyelid, you know, I use a primer, like just a skin tone, um, just like the original Urban Decay Primer Potion, but I'm just left with like little specks of shimmer. It really doesn't add like that gorgeous kind of white color on my lid um, that it comes when like, you swatch it. And then YDK has like tons of fallout. You now it doesn't even have like chunky glitter or anything, but for me it just has tons of fallout. I would put it on the outer third of the eye, and by the time like I just packed on like a little bit, I would just have tons of fallout underneath here. Um, and it just, I would have to take off my face makeup, redo it, and it just wasn't worth it for me um, to use that color, so I don't even, like, use that color anymore. And then Snake Bite and Suspect um, swatched, like, gorgeous colors. Everything, every one of these colors swatched is, like, absolutely gorgeous. But when I put it on my lid or, and, like, I put my brush in the palette, it just, like, has, like, these big chunks of, kind of, eyeshadow powder. And just, I don't know, just the way that I guess they packed maybe the shadows, or maybe I got like a faulty one or something, but it just isn't like a nice smooth kind of transition from the palette, you know, onto the brush, onto your lid. It just kind of like balls up and just kind of falls out everywhere too. And for that reason, I would never even touch Chopper, which is supposed to have like super chunky glitter. I don't use Half Baked, and it's just something I don't ever, like, hardly reach for this palette. Maybe for like tees, but I recently just got the Too Faced Matte Eye Palette, which has... A color very similar to here so for me like there's no reason for me ever to like reach for this palette which is like a shame because it costs so much but I, I just fell into the hype of like on YouTube people like oh my goodness you know Naked 2 the sequel to the, like the best-selling palette ever and I'm like oh my gosh I have to have that but I kind of wish I didn't fall into that hype for that um for number six it says the best color names um for me it is the Too Faced Boudoir Eyes Palette and this color, or this palette, has like super cute color names. Um, in the Buff, Fuzzy Handcuffs, Sugar Walls, Lap Dance, Birthday Suit, and Satin Sheets. And oh my gosh, they're just super cute names and it definitely goes along with the theme of the palette, the boudoir. Super cute. The least used palette is the Balm Nude Tude Palette. I fell into hype again. I bought this off of Hot Look. So for me, that's not why it's like not in the biggest regrets, because it was $18, whereas the Urban Decay Naked 2 was $50. $50. I think now they raised just like $52, but it was $50 at the time. So, But I just don't use this as much. Um, I use Sassy. Sometimes I used to use that. It's just that white for like a lid color. Um, and then, yeah, I hardly ever touched like any of the other colors. But the colors are very pigmented, so I feel like... I should start reaching for it more, and hopefully I will, because it does have that kind of like burgundy shade, and I don't have that in any of my other palettes, so I feel like it might, you know, prompt me kind of to, to reach for this palette more, but it's definitely one that I don't use very often. And number eight. I think it's like one question that says, the most used, most loved, and Desert Island, and it's the Naked palette. The Urban Decay Original Naked palette. This was the first high-end palette that I ever purchased. It's definitely the one that I've used the most. Definitely the one that I would love, and if I went to a desert island, like, I would be set with this palette. Um, I've, I don't know if you can see, but, like, I've made a dent in Sin. Almost kind of hit pan, hopefully, soon, but it's, like, a huge kind of dent in there. I've almost kind of made a mini dent in Naked. Um, in Smog, I've used a lot, too. But it's definitely a palette that I love. I keep coming back to, like, if I just don't know what I'm going to do for, like, an eyeshadow look, I just know that I can count on the Naked palette, so I'll do, like, Sin and Virgin as a highlight, and maybe Naked and Buck and some Smog in the crease, and then I'm good to go. So it's, like, a no-brainer, kind of, like, an oldie but goodie palette, and something that I definitely, definitely, like, my most loved palette. So that's it for the Perfect Palette tag, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any like requests or any other video requests, just let me know down below and I'd be happy to try to make videos in any of my palettes that you saw. Like if you want any tutorials using them, I'd be more than happy to do that too. So I hope you guys have a good day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! <laughs>